One of the best ways to learn Spanish is this. Three reasons why this is the best way to learn Spanish. In this video, you will learn one of the best ways to learn Spanish as an English speaking person and the three main reasons why this is one of the best ways. Uh, there are a lot of methodologies and programs out there. However, unfortunately, those methodologies are focused on how to acquire you as a customer rather than having customers real success in learning Spanish. One of the reasons that this is the one of the best ways to learn uh, Spanish is that adults have to learn in different ways than children and babies do. A lot of the latest methodologies are preaching the, the, the way babies and children learn the new, uh, new language. However, this is the big reason why adults cannot learn the same way than children do. Uh, but that doesn't mean that adults have less ability to acquire a new language. We adults, we as an adult, have an equal or even more capability to learn a, and pick up a new language. Here is why adults cannot learn the same way that children do. Unlike the babies and small children, adults have already the first language built into our mind. So we as an adult have already one particular framework to think. Therefore, it's hard to pick up the new language like children. We need a logical understanding of that different framework, framework of that language using the existing framework of our primary language, which is English in this case. For that reason, one of the best ways to learn Spanish as an English speaking adult is the reading developing grammatical comprehension from day one. If adults acquired a gramma like grammatical understanding, the learning curve uh, would accelerate significantly. And by the way, if you like this video so far, hit the like button so you can actually help other people as well. The number one reason of this is that the verbs and its conjugation are the most uh, fundamental core of the Spanish language or in any other language. In, for example, if you understand and pick up the verbs and its conjugation, then you now understand 50% of what's being said in the sentence. You know, the, what the sentences are trying to convey to you. So among all the grammatical elements, the verb and its conjugation are most critical for you to start tackling from the day one. The reason number two is that the visual of the letters and characters in the article will definitely help us as an adult rather than trying to listen the language and trying to understand what's being said by only listening. Uh, especially when we are still struggling with the new way of phonetics of that particular language. The phonetic of the language understanding will come over time if you keep listening on the news, music, or TV programs. And if you understand the verbs and other grammars associated with the verbs, then you can pick it up uh, faster. It becomes 10 times faster. Don't forget to read out loud as well uh, because that, uh, that way you will widen the angle of Spanish studying approaches to many different angles. And that's the key. Widening the angles, numbers of angles. And by vocalizing and reading out loud, the article instead of reading uh, just in your head will uh, add two different angles uh, of additional learning power. One obviously is the pronunciation. You have to vocalize in order to truly practice phonetic of the language. Because reading in your head and the voice of the language that you are hearing in your head is only an illusion. And you have to practice by actually vocalizing it. An additional benefit to this is the ears that you are listening to your own voice back to your head is a powerful additional angle. And the third reason is that uh, usually people learn things better if, you, uh, if they have a connection to what's being told, the story. So a news article or the book that you have already interest for its topic will be a great material, I mean greater material to learn Spanish with because it sticks to your mind much better. 
and you want to take advantage of it. An additional tip to this, if um, you actually get the physical papers or books that you could uh, mark what you learn, this is a great way. I mean, this is a kinetic learning power. It's not you know, widely recognized, but this is a significant way to improve your learning speed. Just mark it with a pen so you can come back sometimes and re-engage. Uh, that's it. Uh, but it's very powerful. Make sure to vocalize what you are reading and learning. Even though in certain circumstances, you might feel embarrassed by other people surrounding you and listening to you. But it's important to get over this kind of emotion because if you do this, you learn faster. You get better results. So don't let other people, people's judgment ruin your success. In order to implement this, I created a Read News in Spanish series. So check that out too. So you can understand how, what this really means to read a news article and improve and actually accelerate your learning Spanish by understanding uh, grammatical uh, understanding, especially verb and verb conjugation. Vamos a aprender español y no vamos a hablar español y vivamos alegremente. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, and three, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Two, three, five, six, seven. Oh.